Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus is not from Tarot. Tarot, we're going to do a quick read, try to keep it to 15 minutes. It's going to be a freestyle, done with the dice. And um, the, at the end, we'll do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, yada, yada, yada. If any cards, I'll repeat, I'll point those out to you in case that's something you need to know. And if any signs um, are predominant, I'll point that out as well, like I just did with the Aries read. All right, so let's get rolling. And 10, 17 is Kipper. Okay, so we're starting with Kipper cards. All right, so we're going to pull three cards that give you an idea of what you might be dealing with, what you can expect. Some of you are going to be getting recognition for your efforts, whatever it is you've been working on. This is weird. Uh, main character, short illness, and infant. So I always feel like some, for some of you all, um, I don't know if you have children or pets that might have a, um, a quick illness. It could be the flu or anything. Um, but high honors on the bottom. So you are actually going to get recognized for your efforts um, in whatever it is that you've been working on. Um, 10, 15, 21 is the Divine Energy Oracle. That's another. All right. I'm a um, Taurus rising and Venus in Taurus. So even though I'm a Cancer sun, you know, the... Taurus read. I, I always pay attention to those when I'm looking at other tarot readings because they always apply to me more so than the, even the Cancer reading. So when I do the Taurus read, it's always interesting to see what happens. In my case, this would be a pet. So I guess we have yet another trip to the vet. <laughs> One more. Who's going to get sick? Um, so you know what? And this is so true. I've been keeping to myself a lot. It says bust out of your cocoon. Um, I've been keeping to myself a lot lately and just kind of hold up inside. Um, probably dealing with a little, a smidge of depression. Maybe, I don't know if that's the same as you all, but the relationship situation is in the toilet. My aunt just passed away on Friday. Today is Monday. So I got to go to a, the viewing and, um, I was very close to her. So yeah, bust out of my cocoon. I am staying way too holed up, but that's true. So I don't know if that applies. If By the way, if this resonates, feel free to hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. So let's see what's going on with y'all. 10, 15, 20 is Saints and Angels, another Oracle card. And that is this deck. Okay. I did some uh, tarot deck reviews, by the way. If you're interested in, in getting any new tarot decks, you might want to glance through and see which ones I reviewed because it'll save you money. Um, if you if you look at the if you decide you don't want that deck after you look at the flip through, um, or it'll just confirm you know that that is a good deck and that's one that you should get. All right, so believe um, your belief is very strong and. It's almost like saying have faith too. Believe that everything is going to turn out in your favor or, you know, in a way that you're going to be very happy. Believe that everything's going to turn out all right. But you have to believe. And you've got to believe in yourself too. So if you're having a st suffering from a crisis of confidence, um, believe in yourself. All right, so... 10, 23 is the steampunk deck which i had to repurchase because i went to do the deck review on this one and i went to put the cards all in order but i did a deck review on this by the way so if you want to if you're thinking about getting this deck this one is one of the ones i reviewed but um i went to put them in order and there was one card missing and i was like where is the two of cups and i found myself saying Where's my two of cups? Where's my two of cups? Which was so appropriate for me at the time too, as a cancer. It's a cancer card and I was literally saying, where's my two of cups? Um, long story short, I couldn't find it so I had to purchase the steampunk deck again. So this is the new deck because it has the two of cups in it. <laughs> um, all right, so which 
look, what spread are we going to do for you all? What spread do we need to hear about? All the people with the significant Taurus placements. What do we need to hear about? Is it going to be love, money, career, what? Resolving conflict spread. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so are you fighting with somebody? All right, so it's a six-card spread. <clears throat> this is interesting. How do I take myself out of this so that I'm, you know, not spinning it to fit me? How do I do that? Because I know... I'm going to tell you the different ways these can be. Okay, I see a page. Um, and the emperor on the bottom. All right, so what is the, the root of the conflict? And this is the, um, the hangman. Feeling stuck, can't move forward, can't take action. Um, things are at a stalemate. Uh, what you can do to help resolve the conflict. Look at this. Here's the, here's the card that went missing. Um, this. This is what you can do. You can be loving. You can share love. Be loving and share love towards this person. Okay. So does that mean that you have to be the one that reaches out? Um, what you're not understanding about their point of view. Um, they're looking at their options. And I don't think they're being realistic about their options. I don't think they really see... They might be idealistic in love. They may not be realistic in love. Um, or they're just looking at their options. Hopefully they don't see you as just an option. Um, what you're not understanding about their point of view, maybe you are just an option to them. I don't know. Um, or they're just very unrealistic in love. Um, what is your role in this conflict? Okay, so Taurus, either... You're giving to two people or you're trying to balance things out or you want things to be equal, equal give and take, um, equal financially, equal emotionally. Um, maybe it's a runner chaser thing and maybe you're the one that's been doing the chasing and you're tired of chasing this person and you're like, you know what? I don't chase. <laughs> I don't think anybody should have to chase anyone. So it could be that or it could be like maybe they're not giving equal amount of time. Maybe you're putting all the time in and effort in. Maybe you're the one who's financially, um, you know, doing, doing everything. Um, or you're giving to two people. Your role in the conflict is the six of pentacles. I feel like you're trying to equal things out though. You want things to be equal. Um, hopefully you're not giving to two people. I'm um, like energy. You should approach the other person with well, you get the five of pentacles. That's the card of either feeling poor or feeling left out in the cold. Look, here you are feeling left out in the cold. So, energy you should maybe, maybe either make them aware that you feel left out in the cold or maybe you should come to them and realize that that's possibly how they're feeling. Um, or maybe both of you are. Um, how it, how you can move forward from the conflict. How the two of you can move forward. So is this an apology? It's a page of cups. I'm not saying that it's you or your fault. I'm not saying you should apologize. I'm not saying you shouldn't either. Um, Taurus is known for being a little on the stubborn side. So sometimes um, you want them to make the first move. Um, but if you're the one who's always making the first move, I can understand why you might be upset right now. Um, you have the emperor on the bottom of the deck, so you could be dealing with somebody with um, Aries energy, somebody who likes to be in charge, could be bossy, could be a little bit controlling. Um, they want to look, they want to be the boss. So, and this could be you, but maybe both of you are trying to be the one in charge. All right, so Taurus, what else? Do we need to hear? All right. 
yeah, a little OCD. I'm just going to try to ignore the fact that the cards are all whatever. All right, so... Ten. Twenty is Saints and Angels. So what other card do you need to hear? I have to do fingernails because I'm keeping them short so I can... Oh! Now look at this. This is what's on the bottom, though. It says, don't compromise. Don't compromise your beliefs. Um, don't compromise, you know, your your value. Don't accept less than your worth. Don't compromise. Don't co I feel like it's don't compromise your values. It's not saying don't work together with somebody, but it's saying, you know, as far as your don't accept less than you deserve. Um, 1027 is Spellcasting Oracle. Wow, what is it with all the Oracle cards? All right, Spellcasting Oracle is this one. Uh, right here. Not a lot of Oracle cards here. All right, so let's see. I wanted to get one more tarot spread in for y'all. The Page of Cups is like um, reaching out with a message of love. Sometimes it's seen as an apology. Um, I mean, it could be anything like just a, a text that says, I love you, <laughs> you know? But it's, it's a small message or small offer. Freedom. So focus on your freedom, whether it be financial freedom or um, emotional freedom. Get the freedom card. Maintain your freedom. If you feel like somebody's trying to take your freedom away, then I can understand also why you, you know, you might you know, be hesitant to, to be close to them. It's okay, so it's 20, 31 is Fallen Angels. What is with all the Oracle cards? All right, so it's a Fallen Angel from the 72 um, fallen angels in the, the Bible. So which one do we need to hear about? Right. There's a little furry monster to my left that's doing everything it can to make noise. It's full of a lot of energy. <laughs> Turmoil. Hmm. Number 44, it's folklore, and it has to do with turmoil, which is kind of like a five of wands or five of swords type of energy. Um, 44. It says, all right, um, wild ideas threaten to destabilize your life. Don't panic, and a way through will appear. Um, everyone feels the touch of madness at some point in life, and when madness threatens, Folklore is the one to turn to. Folklore commands, um, oh, it says the names of other two, two other angels, Augurus and Marbus, um, and cannot be resisted when supported by them. Um, don't panic, a way through will appear. All right, so whatever chaos is going on, Relax, everything's gonna be fine. I think I told you all that earlier, didn't I? All right, so we're gonna put this to the side somewhere. I don't freaking know. All right. 10, 29, and that is, Jacob, what is the deal? I'm, I wanna get one more spread for y'all and for me too. All right, so Jacoli, this might be longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> Jacoli is a, a really great oracle. It's this one, it's so stinking cute. I just did a Jacoli message for, uh, for Aries, actually. And you get number nine. This is the visual. Here's the visual for number nine, and we'll see what it says, okay?
happy place. Your happy place might be a physical place or it might simply be a happy state of mind. It might include your loved ones, your favorite pastimes, your dear animal friends. What are the elements that come together to fill your heart with happiness? This card is a sign that it's time to visit that happy place. You need to cast off your worries for a while and trust that the universe is taking care of you. You can safely relax and re replenish your emotional well-being. The light and dark messages are, everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to be, so feel free to rest and play. Everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to be, so you might as well rest and play. <laughs> you might as well. All right, what else? Ten, fifteen, seventeen. 15, I, I give up, man. All right, what other Kipper cards do you need to hear about? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> um, rich girl, dishonesty, and unexpected money. So, somehow, a wealthy female person, well, whether they're a, a woman or not, um, someone who is a feminine energy um is wearing a false mask they're being dishonest and somehow unexpected money is going to come to you hmm that's interesting you'll know if this you know resonates or whatever but somehow unexpected money is going to come to you and you're going to find out about this um wealthy female personality um, who's wearing a false mask. Mask. So that's interesting. And 20, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Another Oracle card. Okay. Grieving. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing because I'm going to a viewing, but um, you maybe find yourself grieving um, the loss of someone or something um, in the near future. Just It'll be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, that was a four. Uh, Ten. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is modern witch tarot. Oh, okay. So we get. Oh hell no! I give up. All right. So it is. <laughs> A cheesy spread. I, I think I'm just going to take that spread out of the, the deck of spreads. It's reveal your secret or your reveal your crush's secret fantasy and then seduce them. All right, Taurus. Here, this is cheesy. And after this, we're just going to do six cards down as destiny and then the all sides. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, yada, yada, yada. Because, yeah. I can see where this is going. <laughs> it is not going where I want it. I wanted something good. Or at least I did, you know, maybe, maybe this is perfect for y'all. I don't know. Um, so reveal your crush's secret fantasy and then seduce them. So the first card is their secret sex fantasy and deepest desire. I thought that'd be good. Watch it be like something weird, like the death card. All right. So how is that? Oh, they might want to, you know what? They might want to trap. They might want to have... <laughs> They might want to have sex on a boat or on the water. Um, but I think they basically, it's somebody that the atmosphere is extremely important to them. When the atmosphere is just right, they can really get down and dirty. Um, how you can make your crush powerless to your charms. Um, take your time. Oh, make them wait a little bit. Oh. Make them wait a little bit. Build anticipation. Um, the sexy potential. You plus your crush in bed is the page of pentacles. I'm going to say that's... Eh. But yet, it's all about sex, isn't it? Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, the ace of wands, it's all about sex. Um, so if that isn't appropriate. But I don't think... This is the outcome. It's a page of pentacles. It's not... Eh, I don't know. You might find them kind of boring, actually. So now we're going to do six cards done as destiny um, and nothing repeated as far as signs. Page of Pentacles and Page of Cups. The only thing I could say is some of you all are dealing with somebody who is, um, they're kind of immature, but it does look like they may have bossed up a little bit. They've, 
whoever you've been dealing with, they have matured a little bit because you also have a knight here. Two pages and a knight. So they're still kind of immature, but they've bossed up a little. That's what I'm taking from that. So luck will improve, success in career, rehab. All right, they are th secretly thinking marriage, put some money aside and speak your truth. Lots of work coming. Okay. Lots of work coming. Success in career. There's that. Luck will improve. All right. So if you're dealing with, look at all this crap here. Um, if you are dealing with an Aries, huh? so some of you all either are going to go to rehab or your partner or somebody very close to you, you're going to find out somebody has gone to rehab. So let's see here. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, they actually have a lot of love for you and they want to commit to you. Oh my God. Taurus, fellow Taurus, um, they are just focusing on self-love and they're just kind of, they're not really taking any action. They're just kind of looking things over. Just looking and see how far you've come and everything. Um, the Gemini is defensive and feeling stuck. The Cancer um, has a lot of passion for you. Um, might be manipulative or they're trying to ma manifest something with you. Um, the Leo actually, oh my God. Wow. The Leo is hot for you. Um, you the two of cups and the lover's card. I mean, that's, I'll let the pictures do the speaking. I mean, look at this. This is how the, the Leo, they see you as a soulmate and they want to share love with you. Um, the Virgo is feeling heartbroken and they want to take a leap of faith, but they actually, I almost see this card as being reckless. They could be reckless because look at this. He's always giving her to step off a cliff. Not a care in the world, completely oblivious, doesn't see what, you know, isn't paying attention to what he's doing. So he, she, so I, they might be, they might be heartbroken and, and acting a little reckless right now. Um, the Libra is going to, quickly move towards you um I don't know if this is they're materialistic they might be so this Libra is coming towards you quickly but they might be materialistic um Scorpio oh Jesus um <laughs> whenever the devil card comes out I'm like oh here we go um the Empress and the devil somebody out there is going to try to use sex to keep their partner. Basically, like someone's going to try to get somebody, someone out there is going to try to get someone else pregnant to keep them, to keep them chained down to them so that they can't get away. I'm just putting that out there. Um, so Sagittarius um, is making a judgment call. They're just, they're feeling burdened. Um, they're making a decision because they feel like there's a burden. Um, Capricorn, they're, I feel like they're secrets. They're bitchy, but they're, they have secrets. Um, something's going to come to light. The Aquarius is weighing their options and just trying to hold back for now. They might be juggling. I don't know. Um, the Pisces sees you as wish fulfillment. You're everything they wanted and they want to move forward to you. They could be overindulging a little bit too, but it looks like, um, you know, they want to move forward with you. And so this came back out again on the bottom of the deck is the uh, six of swords. So that's an Aquarius card. So some of you all, uh, either have Aquarius placements or are dealing with somebody with Aquarius in their chart. Um, moving on to calmer waters. So if you're having a conflict with somebody, remember we had the conflict resolution, um, things are going to move on to calmer waters. All right, Taurus, hopefully this has helped in some way. I don't know if it has, feel free to hit the like button and I love you and I will see you in the next one. All right.